I'm warning you not to watch these scary videos at night unless you want to watch them again in your nightmares. Number 12. Two YouTube ghost investigating groups team up for this video, but they find something even worse instead. Because you know for a fact that's going to catch everything down there. It already looked bad when they first found it, but the flames are as twice as wide and twice as tall by the time the authorities arrive on scene. They have to be diligent as they lift the rubble up to check for signs of flames in the middle. If they miss a single burning patch, this whole situation could happen again tonight. When the first responders leave, the team checks out what it was. Someone who was putting this entire forest at risk so they could burn trash. When they thought burning it was safer than dumping it is beyond me. They were either extremely foolish, didn't care, or were trying to do it on purpose. Perhaps all three. Number 11. Jan Flink heads to a crumbling cluster of haunted cabins in his home country of Finland. His flashlight cuts out six times as soon as he reaches the back of the first cabin. He is still holding it though, so maybe he is doing it himself. Up in the attic, he finds this strange setup, a single bowl on a makeshift sleeping area made of thin wood. Only one shoe is never a good sign. He goes outside and his flashlight starts messing up some more, but look behind him right before it does. Um, should I just say bye? Um or see you again in next video. Bye. A woman in red with long black hair is looking at him. It wouldn't be too hard to fake this, and the fact that nothing happens for 44 minutes until the very end of this video makes me suspicious, but Jan Flink claims that this is the spirit of a woman who had a bad encounter with a bear in 1964 and passed away. It's been years since the video was posted, and as far as I've been able to research, he never said it was fake. Number 10. A YouTube channel called 3 Slash Amir AMR searches for what his video title roughly translates into English as the most dangerous magician. Though its glowing eyes make it look less human and more like a djinn, the Arabic word for demons and spirits. <laughs> The way the eyes come into focus at 1 minute and 4 seconds looks pretty good, but I think it might be special effects because the overall resolution seems to briefly drop. White and red eyes look at him from outside of a window, and there's a really good look at them here at 2 minutes and 15 seconds, but these eyes look like they could be any of the city lights shown here when he goes outside. He does see the djinn standing outside of a window, eyes glowing white as ever. It disappears, then he sees either the same creature or possibly another one in the building directly behind him. Now feeling surrounded, he turns and flees this entire area, but not before catching glow eyes looking at him from the window within. Number 9. Watch how this ghost is working out. It's moving by itself just like somebody sitting there. This outdoor workout station is moving all by itself, or so it seems. I think someone could be moving it with wires off camera. At the beginning he shows this zoomed in shot, but it's vertical so there is plenty we can't see. I'm not saying this video isn't real, I'm just saying I would be more convinced if he showed the entire street to prove that no one else was around. Number 8. Two women get on an elevator and strike up a friendly conversation with each other. They shuffle around a lot. and. You can tell nothing is occupying the area behind them. Soon they get off the elevator and leave behind a child who is glowing bright white. The otherworldly aura looks like it was probably edited using special software. The way the child looks straight down is a somewhat outdated horror movie cliché. Both of these indicate that this video is most likely fake, but there's something about it that makes me feel it could be real. So I'd like to get the final confirmation from you. Number 7. A YouTuber named Nellis is exploring a haunted mansion in Bosnia where many people lost their lives during a dark chapter of their nation's history. Active minds dot the surrounding woods so they have to head straight inside. 
One of the first things they see is what they think are belts hanging from the ceiling that people could have looped around their neck, though I think they could have been hooks from hanging lamps. And there's them belts again. Look up there, there's them belts. Do people hang themselves? There's definitely people here. I think they're sat around there. We see them again up close for a couple of minutes later, and they aren't belts at all. But I still don't know what they were used for. But wait, forget about the ceiling. Look at what's hanging against the wall. Going back to the first clip I mentioned earlier, it seems it was there all along. Number six, it's midnight when this ladder starts walking by itself in an apartment building garage. It looks like it has to be the work of a ghost, but it's actually on a very gradual ramp moving down. This middle section of the ladder, called a spreader, looks like it's too worn out to lock in place anymore, and so the ladder almost tips over and then catches itself, taking another step forward in the process. But still, somebody has to bump the ladder first to get it moving. So if this just spontaneously happened out of nowhere, then that's a cause for concern. Number five, a YouTube channel called Jaeger Expective is partying at a rental home. They soon suspect is haunted after running some experiments. According to them, these motion activated lights don't turn on unless someone is in the room. Yet the lights come on here when the room is empty. Isn't that censored? I think the lights might turn on whenever the door opens though, because when you watch it again, that's pretty much exactly what happens, so they could be wrong about the lights, but next they hear a faint sound from far away. It sounds like one of those really old fashioned phones that used to have an actual bell on top. Uh, everybody has their phones, right? <laughs> Everyone decides to talk about it again in the morning, and they go to bed, or at least they try. Strange sounds continue throughout the night. Stuff that's hard to catch on camera, like a single footstep and nothing else. In the morning, they all still have a bad feeling and feel what they describe as a chilly vibe permeating every room. Jaeger does a quick recording of every room in the house and picks up this figure, which I think could just be his reflection in a mirror, or maybe not. Number 4. A YouTuber called Wet Tent catches a poltergeist in action in his home. As evidenced by this slamming door, he shows that there is nobody on the other side and then waits for it to happen again. It's creepy until you see his window is open, so it could be a breeze. And here at 13 seconds, you can see a tag on his covers move in the wind. I just wanted to show this video because I think that it could help explain other videos with slamming doors. Still, I would not totally discount this video. Wet Tent should make a new one with the window closed and see if it still happens. Number 3. This television is acting strange, perhaps haunted. At least if you ask Mustang 2005. Look at this. Dude, it's like spazzing out. What? What's going on here? The volume keeps going down by itself no matter what he does. He turns everything off and back on again, hoping that'll solve it. Oh my god! But the volume just goes back down, and this time he's holding a different remote, one of the older Kindle Fire Stick remotes, made before they had volume controls. He's holding it upside down, but this is where the volume buttons would have been. The remote for the volume is on the table. Maybe he lives with someone who is turning the volume down from the other room either with his knowledge or as a prank, but there's no way to prove that. So what do you think? Manufacturing error? Practical joke? Or a ghost? Number 2. A postal worker is moving some mail around an office building and summons an elevator. There's an overhead light in the third camera that flickers from the very beginning of the video onwards, which may or may not be an indication of something paranormal. Notice how this electrical disturbance briefly spreads to the elevator as soon as the doors open. So far this could just be a technical malfunction, but that doesn't explain what happens next. Watch as the papers start fluttering on their own despair there, being no possible draft inside of the cramped space. I can't help but notice how the papers stop fluttering every time he looks over, only to resume again when he stops paying attention. It definitely looks paranormal to me. Again, the lights flicker on and off as soon as the doors open, almost as if a paranormal entity is getting on and off the elevator with him. 
He notices that the lights are flashing an awful lot down here, but he chooses to ignore it and keeps moving. A short while later, this phantom businessman partially emerges from a realm beyond our own. I have trouble believing this part is not computer generated effects, but that doesn't necessarily mean the whole video is fake. Maybe everything up to this part was real, and someone added in this final scare at the end, or worse still, Maybe I'm wrong and this ghost really was behind him. Before we get to number one, my name is Chills and if you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. Have you seen the number 15 music video yet? If not, you're definitely missing out. It's a proven fact that generosity makes you a happier person, so if you're generous enough to hit the subscribe button and the bell beside it, then thank you. This way, you'll be notified of the new videos I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Number 1. In this ghost investing collaboration, members of the Holy Walkers, Urban Ghost Urban Explorations, and 539 Productions team up to check out some some abandoned properties in the woods at night. They are close friends, and so it becomes a lighthearted exploration full of laughs, but they do miss two things. One of them happens during a passing moment of silence. Uh, you can see a Joe in his native environment. I don't know what that is, but I do know it sounds large and close by, and during this exact moment appears two green eyes that look like they could be leaves at first, except they aren't touching the tree next to it, and they aren't pine needles like the rest. Believe it or not, the same face appears behind a screen window exactly 5 minutes and 10 seconds later, so I don't think they necessarily found a ghost, but something was probably out there with them, and if they ever return, they might be unlucky enough to find it again, and next time it might do more than just watch. When things become mysterious, unexplained, and most of all, really creepy, you may be living out your absolute worst nightmare. 